Pampered Chef tools, along with recipes so that you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. And today we have a fabulous recipe to show you and some of the new tools that Pampered Chef just debuted September 1st. We're going to be making some pumpkin fluff. Yes, pumpkin fluff. So do you ever want to have that slice of pumpkin pie but don't want to have all the calories to go, go with it? Well, then this is the best substitute for pumpkin pie, y'all. So anyway, we're going to switch over here. I'm going to show you the tools and the ingredients ingredients. All right. So we are um, having this one here. This is our ingredients. We're going to be using some cinnamon, some uh, regular cinnamon and cinnamon plus. All right. Cinnamon plus actually is coming out probably later this fall, but it's a uh, regular cin this cinnamon here with nutmeg, allspice, orange peel, cloves and ginger. If you don't have this right now, you can probably substitute. Yeah. The pumpkin pie spice. Okay. So we got that. We're going to be using uh, the uh, cheesecake jello, sugar free, fat free pudding. Now, if you want to use vanilla, use vanilla. If you want to use like butterscotch, you can use butterscotch. The sky's the limit on how, how you want to substitute it. But I'm using the sugar free, fat free. If you don't want to use that, then use the full, full strength jello um, pudding mix. All right. Then we're having pumpkin puree. Pumpkin puree. This is not the pumpkin pie filling, just a regular pumpkin. And we already used half this uh, container to make the muffins. And so I'm going to use the other half up doing our pumpkin fluff. And then finally we have Cool Whip. Yes, fat-free Cool Whip here. So we're gonna use probably about half this container. I think it's half, no, a, 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 a quarter of the container. Uh, so I have this recipe, I'm, I'm dividing it in half. So hopefully I do all this in halves, but you can do half this container, one can of this and one package is the exact recipe, okay? I'm using half the package, a quarter of the Cool Whip, and a half a can of pumpkin, all right? So the tools I'm gonna to be using is a scraper because we wanna scrape it all off. We're gonna be using the adjustable measuring spoon that goes up and down. We're gonna be using one quarter of a teaspoon of the both the cinnamon and the a cinnamon plus, all right? Quarter teaspoon. If you're using the whole thing, then use a half a teaspoon, all right? So we got that. And then we have our bowl. We're using a the new Pampered Chef bowl. Why? Because we're gonna be using our new Flex Plus uh, mixer right here. All right. And I have it already put together. It does come apart. This one here attaches to the immersion blender and the, uh, what is that thing called? The other device Oh, the food processor. Okay. So I'm going to attach this on. And the last thing to the party is always the battery. The battery allows us, it has its 30 minutes of charging time and it, uh, it comes with two batteries. So while this one is in, in use, you can charge the other one up. So you are always ready to go. Now I think I have it backwards here. Here we go. Put this in, there you go. And it has a light saying it's ready to go, but we're gonna put this down until we get our ingredients in the bowl first, all right? So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna mix up the pumpkin and cheesecake. All right, so I am Alexis and I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef and I teach you all this stuff. If you are by chance wanting to get a couple friends together and to host your own party, and to learn other great recipes that are health conscious or not health conscious, uh, message me, all right? The link is always somewhere in there to find. So I'm gonna use half this, I'm eyeballing it. We're doing half, that looks about half, okay? I'm gonna do half of this. I'm gonna put the other half away for the next time because I really don't need the whole whole thing. It's very low in, in Weight Watcher points if you're on Weight Watcher. And now we're gonna open up our can. Again, I had this, we opened this with the Easy Smooth Edge can opener and I just looked, put this right on and it kept it nice and fresh on the inside. So we're gonna scoop all this out and put it in the bowl, all right? I'm just put a plop plop fizz fizz all right really easy to do uh i i love showing you how to do different things and if you uh if you want any of these tools please reach out to me i would love to get them into your house you can play full price but you know i like it a good discount and i always assume that you do too all right and it doesn't take much to do a pampered chef uh, party especially on our new platform called table t-a-b-l-e which is a website based one we don't have to deal with any facebook algorithms or if you got booted off facebook for other 
um, re reasons, uh, then this is definitely the platform for you. Let me switch this up around. Hello, Melanie. How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for the uh, kind hi award. Hello, Kat from South Carolina. Used to make that all the time on Weight Watch. Yeah, I'm on Weight Watchers, Kate. Uh, Kat, I actually lost 50 pounds and I want to keep it off. I still have about three, four more pounds to go uh, to get down to my, my, my personal weight loss goal. I got down to the Weight Watcher goal but I'm stuck at this one weight. So I am coming in every day and showing you how to you to make really good food. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the chicken salsa probably tomorrow. Hello, Mary, how are you doing? Is Jell-O gluten-free? I don't think so. It doesn't say it. So more likely if it doesn't say it on the box, it is not, but you can find your own gluten-free uh, uh, pudding out there, okay? And uh, let's see, Aiden, where is Aiden? I have no idea where Aiden is, <laughs> probably having fun. All right, so this is on, we're gonna uh, push it over and turn it on. Oops, let's push it on, turn it on. Woo. All right. Oh, my battery, I think, nope, nope, nope. Oh, wow, wait, there, push it over. I think my battery might be going. No, it can't be. Go up in the power there. No, it's still doing good. There we go. I was playing around with it. All right. Mix up your pudding mix and the pumpkin. I'm going to add in. All right, that's pretty good. All right. I'm going to add in my, uh, my seasonings right here. And we're going to be doing some, a quarter of a teaspoon of the cinnamon plus, which again, you can use your pumpkin pie spice on this. And we're only, um, only using half the recipe. So I'm doing a quarter of a teaspoon. If you want the recipe, please follow me over on my VIP group. I will post that immediately after I get done uh, with this broadcast because I already have the recipe typed up and it's for the full amount, not the half amount that I'm doing here. Okay. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, I don't mind if there's too much, a little extra cinnamon on there. All right, there we go. I'm going to mix these two together. I'm thinking I'm thinking that if we add like um fat free I, I think I, oh my I almost have have a vertigo here uh fat free uh the Greek yogurt in here that would probably be a good uh filler in this one uh and I'm going to be putting in now the cool whip now I'm going to do a little bit of cool whip and then we're going to fold in the rest of it okay I'm just going to mix it in really nice and I'm going to get another little scooper here and this is the whole container I did not eat any out of it okay so I'm going to put in a good dollop, all right? And we're gonna mix this dollop in. Just on low on here, okay? All right, there's one down, okay? A little higher. All right, I think we're done with our, our mixer right now. All right, let me settle that down. And the rest of it, we're gonna fold in. Now, if you want, you can get yourself a nice cup and I forgot to get my nice cups out. So I'm gonna be putting it in the one cup prep bowl, all right? Uh, now we're gonna get the get some of this out, just a little bit of it out, all right? You're just gonna get the bottom and you're gonna actually put it at the bottom of here, all right? And you're gonna like make it like decorative. All right, just push it around to the side so you can see it at the bottom, all right? We're gonna make it look pretty is what we're doing here, okay? Put another one at the bottom and I'm doing two servings here. <laughs> so if you want to do uh, the big one, you can, you can probably do four servings. If you, if you um, want to mix more Cool Whip in, you might get more servings out of it. Okay. There you go. Just a little bit more. There you go. So it's nice and fluffy down there. Okay. See how that is. All right. So you want to pull it up to the sides. All right. Next, we're going to add in some more Cool Whip. Just get a dollop of Cool Whip and put it right in there. And you're going to, tap it in All right and again pull it up to the sides so that you can see the white of the um the white on in the in the bowl All right, and a little bit on this one there you go and spread it out all right and pretty cups will make it look really nice too okay oops there we go just put that over there 
All right. And let's see. Now we're going to get some more Cool Whip, okay? And I'm going to add it right to this one here. There we go. There. And we're going to fold this one in this time. We don't want to mix it in because we want that fluffiness from the Cool Whip um, to come through, okay? So just fold it right in. That's why you need a scraper. All right. And just fold it right in. All right. Just mix it in nice. And it's going to come in a different color. It's going to be a little bit lighter in the in the pumpkin color. All right. So if you find value in my broadcast, please follow me over to my VIP page or even over to YouTube. I have a YouTube station in which I'll be posting up videos, short videos over there. And, uh, and you can get the recipe uh, over on the VIP page. Or you can message me and I'll send it to you. Okay. Yeah. You see how nice and fluffy it is now? It's a little bit different color. We want it to be a consistent color. Let me get another little spoon to get it off my scraper here and mix it all in. All right. And I'll be right back and I'll, t I'll talk to you about your about the um, comments and stuff like that. There we go. Or read your comments. Okay. So it's pretty much mixed up. It's really nice. So we're going to get this part. Mm, that's good. Mm, this is so good. All right. We're going to get another big scoop and put it right on top. Just right there. And again, it's up to you how, how much you want in here, but I know I'm going to eat this, y'all. It is nice and good. And again, just put it around the edges so that you can see the difference in the colors. Okay. It's like a darker orange and then a lighter, lighter one. And it's up to you if you want to use all of the whipped cream that's in the um, whipped cream container or part of it. Okay. So uh, it's not that many points on Weight Watchers for this dessert. You do have to count in the Cool Whip has the most and the pudding, pudding has points too. But the um, pumpkin does not. And you can actually use sweet potatoes. So if you have leftover sweet potatoes and you want to mash them up, you can do this, do this recipe with sweet potatoes. Yeah. And let's... I'm eating all this. Okay. Did you get my message, Aiden? <laughs> Hello, Aiden. Hello, Cheryl. How you doing? This Okay. Yeah. This recipe goes way back on Weight Watchers. Okay. So we're going to scrape the entire bowl out. I hate when people leave half, half the ingredients on the bowl. There we go. Let's put that in there. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Alexis is going to eat this part here. There you go. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. My scraper turned yellow with the pumpkin. It always does. But this scraper, I don't know, is at least six years old. All right. Uh, there is a way to tell how old your pampered scrap scraper is. And there's a little sundial on here. And it gives you the year and the month that the scraper was made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some barkeeper barkeeper's friend or Bon Ami to clean this off. Let's see it. And if it doesn't come off with that, then you can put it out in the sun and let the sun bleach it back and it'll turn back to white. Here, I'm going to put it right in the bowl because we're all done with this. All right. Let me get a little sponge and clean this thing off. Okay. And again, it may not all come off right now, but when I put it out in the sun and it's sunny out right now, it'll come off tomorrow. Okay. So it's still not coming out. No big deal. Cause I am not worried because I'm going to put it on the sun. And tomorrow when I come back, you're going to see this all white because we still have sunlight out here. Let's see if I can put this in, in the sink with some water. Yeah. All right. I'm still rubbing it and it's coming, but so is Christmas. All right. All right. I'm still, still rubbing it a little bit. Okay. Maybe I'll put that over there. Let it, let it soak. Oh, it's coming off. All right, I'm going to let it so soak for a sec, okay? And then finish up our dessert. All right, so the next thing is we're going to put a little bit of dollop of whipped cream right on top. There you go. And voila, our dessert is done. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Hello, Terry. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, so that is our pumpkin dessert for fall. It is made with fat-free um, pudding. 
fat-free sugar-free pudding, fat-free Cool Whip, and a, a pumpkin uh, uh, puree, okay? And some cinnamon. And I use the Corinth J Cinnamon by Pampered Chef and Cinnamon Plus, but you can use uh, pumpkin pie cinnamon and your regular cinnamon, okay? What's the points? I forgot. It's like four points for this. Not a whole lot. All depends how much whipped cream I, or Cool Whip I put on it. Um, but it's not, not very many. I did, I did calculate it in Weight Watchers and I put it in there already and I totally forgot y'all. So anyway, thanks for coming in. I'm going to come back and I have a every plate box to open and I'll be on, uh, haps. All right. So thanks for coming in. Yeah. Four or five points. I think it's four points, Kat, four to five points. You're absolutely right. Okay. So it's very good. This is phenomenally good. All right. So thanks for coming in and I'll see you in a little bit and enjoy fall flavors. Bye.